All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple histogram in Minitab. Histograms are used as probably, it's probably the best graphical tool for analyzing dimensional data. So I've, I've got uh, 50 uh, data points here for a diameter. So I took a diameter for a part, measured, measured the diameter on 50 parts, and I've got my data here. Now when I analyze it graphically, we'll create uh, a histogram. So, and if you notice, if you've never worked in Minitab before, uh, the main body here, it looks like a spreadsheet. Uh, and, and that's, uh, it, it makes Minitab user friendly in that way, uh, and that you can uh, copy and paste data from, let's say, Excel into Minitab, and then work with the data on the spreadsheet here. But let's, let's go up to uh, Graph, go down to Histogram, and we're going to use a simple histogram. Now we could do other, we got other choices here. I'm not going to really go over what these are, but as you, you notice as I, as I choose them, the, the background goes black, but the default is always the simple. So that's the one we're going to, to create. Now, uh, if, you, if you notice, you've got two, two boxes here. Uh, the box on the left here will always, will always be populated by the data that you have in your spreadsheet. So right now we've got data in column one and we labeled it diameter. Um, but if you notice the cursor is blinking in this box here. So to get the data from here to here I just come over double click it and it populates the box. So pretty pretty easy. So now I'm ready to go. If I just hit OK it creates the histogram uh, and that's it. Now um, I love Minitab's editing features for graphs. Uh, like if I wanted to change the titles, you just put your cursor on the title, double click it, um, and then you've got several things you can do here. Let's change the font. Let's change the color of the title. Um, and let, let's change the actual title itself. So I'll just change the wording. So diameter of part X. Now if I hit OK, you can see it changes there. And I could do the same for the title of the y-axis and the title for the x-axis. Just double click them and then you can you can uh, change the color, the font, whatever, whatever you want to do. So that's the graph. Uh, that's the histogram. Now if I wanted to copy, let's say I wanted to copy this histogram into a PowerPoint presentation. Well just uh, right click on your mouse and you see copy graph. So you can do that and then paste it in, into PowerPoint. Uh, if I didn't want to do anything with this graph, like if I didn't like it and I wanted to start over, just exit out. Um, I don't want to save it, so hit no. And that's how you create uh, a histogram in Minitab.